to make room for my mental self. His is on this disc. Say, it's most enjoyable to be in a young, healthy body, even if it's from your bloodline. In fact, I like it so much, I think I'll keep it. I guess we'll have no use for this anymore. Now it's time to settle things, once and for all. You'd better be careful, though. Keep this in mind. If I die while in this body, that disc will be useless. Your son will never draw another breath. And if you don't defend yourself, you will never live to buff another helmet. Come on, show me what you've got. Mop Jockey. Glad you could play Space Quest 4. As usual, you've been a real pet load. Follow me. There are many things we need to talk about. Is it true? I'm so... Over. You must be very confused. Were Volhall's words true? Are you really my son? You do look a little like me, though not as good looking. What do you mean, not as good looking? I'm ten times... Wait. What am I saying? This is no way to start. Yes, what Vohal said is true. I have many things to tell you, Dad. I should start at the beginning. I was born 19 years ago on Xenon. It's always been my home. The Xenon of today, at least up until recently, had made great strides in managing our planet's resources. That included water, minerals, even the talent of our population. We enjoyed peace for so many years we took it for granted. The creation of the first super biomech computer was the biggest success story in our history. When the Vohal virus was introduced and began to control the computer, a state of total chaos was created. We were unprepared for what followed as Vohal turned our technology against us. The population was quickly decimated. Some of us stayed and tried to fight, 
some were captured, and some fled the planet. When it seemed there was no hope, we thought of one last long shot effort. That was to find the only person in history ever to defeat Bohal. We had to go back in time to find that person, you. We got there just in time. You had to go back in time to get me? Why wasn't I available in this time? What happened to me? I don't understand. I'm sorry. There are some things I, I wish I could tell you, but can't. I know that's not what you want to hear. Believe me, I just can't. Hey, if you're my son, who's your mother? My wife? Where is she? Who is she? You sure ask a lot of questions for a janitor. This is my mother and your wife. Her name was Beatrice, Beatrice Wankmeister. She was quite beautiful, wasn't she? What do you mean, was quite beautiful? What are you saying? I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Please, I can't tell you anymore. I don't believe all this. I'm so confused. It doesn't matter now. I have to send you back where I found you so that history will properly reflect the events which brought us to this place in time. You won't remember much. This will seem like it was a weird, fuzzy dream. I must get back to the task of contacting all the surviving citizens of our planet. We have a huge task ahead of us. Rebuilding our city and our lives will not be easy, but we will do it. Once more, I have to ask you to enter the time rip. It will return you to Magmetheus in the Space Quest IV era. Please, go now. It's time. Dad? I'm glad I got to see you, even if only for a few minutes. Xenon owes you a lot. Goodbye, Dad. So many unanswered questions. The future should prove most interesting for Roger, if he can stay out of trouble long enough to reach it. We're glad you could help Roger get through it all. Thank you for playing Space Quest IV.